Hey Sagittarius, I hope you all are doing well. This is going to be a general reading for three things to expect before November is over. Okay, what do we have here for Sagittarius November? What do we got for Sagittarius? Okay, we have the Virgo card, we have the Aries card, and we have the Sagittarius card. Okay, so we'll see what's going on for you here. Get some cards out. What is going on with this Virgo card here? I do think for some of you, you could be trying to get something in order regarding a vehicle, okay? I feel like there's something to do with your vehicle. You're trying to get that in order. That feels more like before the year is over, but you could be doing that in November. Um, but that's just a little side story here for this one. Let's see. I'll get three out, and we'll flip them over one by one. You do have the tower. Oof. Trying to get things. I feel like you're trying to pull yourself together here, Sagittarius. There could have been an ending. Uh, could have been with the Scorpio, Aries. You know, the signs we have out here, Virgo, Aries, Sagittarius. But could be with any sign here. But I do feel like you're trying to pull yourself together. You're trying to make sense of things. You're trying to rebuild, but you don't know where to start, okay? I feel like the rest of November, you're going to be getting things in order regarding that, okay? You have the Nine of Wands here, Moon and Sagittarius. I definitely feel like there's something that you're not trusting. I feel like you're not trusting yourself when it comes to your plan here. You have a plan, you know, you have a vision. You're like, I really want this, but can I trust myself to achieve it? So it's almost like there's a self-sabotage energy where you're not even going for it. You do have the queen of swords here. I feel like you could be, you know, making excuses here or, you know, and that's not to say that there aren't limitations. There aren't, uh, you know, obstacles or anything of that nature, but I do think you could be making them a lot bigger than they actually are. That way you don't have to go for this thing and scare yourself and, you know, have to be vulnerable, have to put yourself out there, whatever the case may be, have to trust in something here. I do think that there could be a Libra here, uh, Libra, Scorpio, Aries, somebody here has definitely uh, done a number on you. And I think that you're finding it hard to recover from that. So I do feel like in the month of November, though, you're going to be setting some kind of hard boundary here with a person or with where you're putting your energy in general. Like if this was an ending and you've been checking up on an ex, you're going to stop doing that. You're like, that's not good for me. I need to just stop doing that. You know, or I'm not going to move forward. I'm not going to move on. So for a lot of you, despite how difficult this is, you know what's best. You know, it's like you are doing what's best rather than what you want to do in the moment. You know, you're thinking of your future self. You have this Aries card here. By the way, you guys, I am opening personal readings, video, these are uh, video readings, okay? They're going to go over the next six months. They're going to be a message from your guides as well. Um, if there is something specific you want to know about, you can ask me that when we chat. If you want more information on this, my email is listed down below. Um, these are only going to be open for a limited time, considering the holidays and the due date of my second baby is coming up. So, yeah, um, my email is listed down below if you guys are interested in getting a personal video reading while I have them open. Again, that goes over the next six months, a message from your guides. And if you want it geared towards a specific topic or if you have something specific that you're hoping to hear about, let me know in the email okay and I will give you the next step okay what's going on with Aries card okay some of you could be doing something drastic to your appearance like ooh, Sagittarius I feel like you could be like you know, dyeing your hair a different color here. I feel like there's a really exotic look about you at some point in the month of November. I think that you're geared, like you, I feel like you are moving away from like a more traditional look. It's kind of how that feels to me. Or it's like you're kind of, you're, you're stepping out of your comfort zone, but it feels like this is physical. Um, but in general, you're going to be stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, you have this hair font card here. Some of you, there could be commitment here with an Aries, a Leo, a Taurus, um, you know, but um, with this energy here, I do feel like there's something new you're committing to. If You know, with the Aries card showing up, that represents the self, and I do feel like your number one head over heart energy here because your heart has kind of, oh, how do I describe that here? The energy that I'm feeling from that. It's almost as if your heart needs time to like catch up, 
you know, um, it's, it's like, <laughs> you know, you're, you're, you know, something here, but it's like your heart, uh, just, is just like not getting the memo, you know? And I feel like it's finally catching up here. Things are, uh, you know, falling into place basically is how this feels to me. There's a new sense of self with that Aries energy. There's this head over heart energy. It's not that you're neglecting your emotions at all, but you are leading with logic. You're like, actually heart, chill out for a little bit. I think that we've, you know, we've got this. We're going to take the lead here. You have the King of Wands and the Prince of Wands. Some of you have a message coming coming in from a fire sign. This could be somebody that you marry later on. This could be somebody that you live with or commit to if marriage is not your thing, of course. Um, I also feel that for some of you, you're in this emperor boss mode and I feel like you're going to be, uh, I don't want to say you're starting something new. It really doesn't feel that way to me. It feels like you you have the knowledge you've been doing this, but it feels like you're finally uh, putting a plan into action is basically how this feels here. Oh, that's not the deck I wanted. Now we're going to look at this Sagittarius card. What's going on with this? The moon. Mm, something hidden. There's unexpected expansion in some area of your life. Like you develop this new philosophy here and I feel like it allows you to expand on multiple levels here. Yeah, you have the fool showing up. Absolutely. There's some kind of surprise happening and it really feels to me like that could be more towards the end of November. I want to say like the 23rd, 25th. Um, yeah, you have the King of Pentacles right here. It looks like there, there could be some kind of news coming in involving money. Like say, for example, or your physical environment. Say, for example, you've been like looking for a place, you know, you've been, um, you know, looking for a house or something of that nature and you just kind of gave up on that search. Some things want to find you that you were looking for recently, okay? That's how this feels to me. There's some kind of unexpected expansion here. Like there is an opportunity coming towards you here. You may not trust it, or you may feel like, I don't know if I want to take it, but it's like you understand that it's fate, that it found you here. So, very interesting. It could be coming from a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. They are offering you something here, okay? Somebody could be offering you a deal. They're like, I'm giving you this deal, you know, I have this place, I'm renting out this place, you know? It could be something like that going on here for some of you Sagittarius. Others of you, I think you could get a break, you know? If you've been feeling very drained, I feel like you might get a break um, in the month of November that's allowing you to like rest, recharge, recenter, and get things in order emotionally, physically, spiritually, you know, I feel like a lot of things are falling into place for you. So that is very exciting, Sagittarius. I want to thank you all so much for being here. I greatly appreciate you. Um, you're more than welcome to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Patreon. I read on all those platforms. Don't forget, I also have personals open if you all are interested. Oh, goodness, I closed this out. Okay, no, I didn't. Um, <laughs> I also have personals open for a limited time if you're interested. Like I said, uh, definitely email me if you're wanting some more information. But if this is where we part, thank you all so much. I really appreciate you, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.